In this video, the setup you see here will be used to demonstrate some differences between mortar mode and single mode fibers. A 405 nanometer and a 650 nanometer laser diode is used as a light source. Modes in an optical fiber are oscillation patterns of light that can be carried by a fiber. Depending on the type of the fiber used, some modes can propagate, while others cannot. The patterns you will see emerging out of the fibers are a combination of such modes. The modes of fiber can carry strongly depend on the ratio between the light wavelength and the core diameter. A smaller core can carry only lower order modes. The extreme is a single mode fiber which can only carry the two fundamental modes. To couple light into a fiber it has to be tightly focused onto the end of the fiber core. S-mount camera lenses can be used for this task. They are quite cheap, have AR coated surfaces and low spherical aberrations. They can therefore focus the laser light to a very small point of a few micrometers in diameter. On the left, a 405 nanometer laser diode is coupled into a single mode fiber with a core diameter of about 3 micrometer. On the right, a red laser diode is coupled into a multimode fiber with 50 micrometer core diameter. On the top right, you see the beam profiles exiting the fibers. The single mode fiber in blue produces a nice Gaussian beam, while the multi mode fiber produces a spotty red pattern. The spots are a combination of many different fiber modes interfering on the screen. When the multi mode fiber is moved or bent, the phase delay of the modes changes relative to one another, causing the pattern to change randomly. Observe how bending the fiber ejects higher order modes from the fiber at the bend. In contrast to the previous demonstration, the single mode fiber can be bent without observing any changes in its beam profile. By moving the focusing lens slightly, the light is coupled differently to the fiber. In a multi-mode fiber you can see how the energy distribution among the modes changes, which alters the beam profile. Since there is only a single mode on the left, only the overall coupling efficiency changes. This is observed as changes in brightness. Next, the multi-mode fiber is swapped for a 9 micrometer core diameter fiber. For telecommunication wavelengths, this is a single mode fiber. However, for the 650 nanometer red light used here, it will carry multiple modes. Due to the smaller core diameter, it will support less higher order modes than the previous 50 micrometer fiber.
The new fibre, with a smaller core diameter, supports fewer modes than the 50 micrometer core fibre. Therefore, the beam pattern is much smoother. Again, bending the fibre causes higher order modes to scatter out of the fibre, 